welcome to another episode of the Fish and Coach Show. I'm Brandon Fisher, and this is Coach Ratner, and today we're going to talk about how your challenges are made just for you. So Coach, what are challenges? Challenges are things that are in our life that make our life difficult. I mean, like, you know, I thank, you know, thank God I have kids, but like, it's challenging having kids. There's a lot of challenges we go through. Yeah, you know, you think about it, and when you're not married, you're like, oh, kids are so cute. When I come over to your house, I see the kids playing, and even cooperating so well. Like, this, this, wow, it's got to be so easy. Yeah, it's Obviously, not, I know that, but it's, it's not, not true. It's, no, it's not true, and th- there, there are my challenges, and we all have challenges. You know, this is for another podcast, but I had lung cancer, I have a heart issue, and, like, these are my challenges. And I say, God, look at that guy. He's, you know, 55, but he never has to go to the hospital. He's really healthy. I'm like, how come I'm not like that? And I work out, and I'm healthy. I eat healthy, all these different things. How come I'm not like that? Why Why is it that he? Had, I'd rather have his challenges than my challenges? Wow. it's it's you, We always see that someone else has to have life so much easier than what we have. There's always something. We, we know everything we're going through. That's correct. And I want to give you, like, an idea that's kind of explain it all. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm from Rockville, Maryland, and we have these big, beautiful lawns, and you go outside, you look at your neighbor's grass, like, wow, how beautiful is my neighbor's grass? And then I look down at my grass, I'm like, my grass is, is nice. It's and not so nice. And you're watering it. You're doing everything And I'm doing everything he's doing. I got the, I, 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 same lawn surface. Why, is my, why does my lawn not look as good as his lawn? Yeah, why? What, are you, what are you doing wrong? It's because when I'm looking at his lawn, I am looking at the side of his grass. I am not seeing what I'm seeing in my lawn. When I look down, you know what I see? Dirt. Because the grass sticks up, and I'm looking down and saying dirt. So I'm like, my lawn's not as good. Why can't I have what he has? Why can't I have that marriage? Why can't I have that beautiful house? Why can't I have the brand new car every three years? Why can't I have those things? Even why can't I be, um, have the, you know, here, why can't I be as wise as that other person? Why right. Can't, why can't I be as wise? Why can't I have the knowledge and the wisdom and the money and build the business? Why can't I why have Why is it those? so hard for me when it's so easy for everyone else? Or why am I having such a hard time in my job? Why can't I keep a job? All these different challenges. And you don't realize that, and I've learned this from years of living, that every time I see someone, I'm like, oh, man, if I only had what they had, if I had their challenges, whatever it is, you don't realize that they also have challenges. You don't realize that maybe if you had their challenges, you would not be able to handle them. And the challenges you have in your life, you are able to handle most wow. of the time. Yeah, how do we know we're able to handle them? That, that sounds like there's a lot of faith involved. There, 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 it's not faith. It's that, that you've grown up with the challenges. You have, like, if you are growing up with a, you know, God forbid, a horrible disease or something, like, you know, I have a daughter who's, was born with, you know, if you have to pick all the disabilities someone is born with, it's the one that has to do with like your thyroid. So she's on medication, like you know, for her whole life, and it's yeah. it's considered a disability. You know, it's not a disability, but it's all the ones on the board you got to pick. That'd be the one you pick because it's the oh. easiest one to handle. <laughs> but she's used to it. She's grown up with this. this is part of her life. She gets blood tests every single month. Goes to the doctor and and and, and the end of, and endocrinologist, hard word to say. And how many times do you meet an endocrinologist? I don't think I've do, ever met an Do you know why you don't meet any? Because there's so few of them. Wow. I mean, every city we've gone to, you need to find one. There's like one in the city that's for a ch- child. It's a good wow. business to go into if you want to make some money. There you go. Yeah. So It comes with its own challenges. So we think the grass is always greener. But it's greener because we're looking at it from a different angle. We don't see their grass like they see their grass. They look at their grass. You know what they see? Dirt. They look at my grass. That guy's got everything. His grass is beautiful. But it's the same concept. And then we see on the news like all the celebrity gossip, and you see that these people who have things that seems like figured out pretty well. They don't. They have nothing figured they, out. It's, a, it's like, you know, we look at the celebrity, like, oh, man, they got it made. They're, first of all, they're gorgeous. Look at they, that beautiful house. Yeah, and and I don't understand how, like, these, like, share, like, I don't know how old she is, 70, 75, like, stunning, whatever. <laughs> of course, we know how it happens. But we think that they have everything when they have probably more challenges than we have and harder because they are now dealing with the world trying attacking them and wanting their time and they're always following them around and they have paparazzi everywhere so we think you know our challenges are tough but your challenges are made just for you so enjoy the life you're living you well, enjoy what you have those challenges are for you and we have in judaism something that's a very fascinating idea that the cure is always created before the disease. My wife says it all the time. She goes, look, I have the pills for you what you just got sick with. It happens all the time. 
Right, not just in health, of course. In right. any endeavor you're gonna you're gonna face. Right. Writing the book, you say the challenge is so hard. You have the tools, you have the words, and you have the ideas of what you're writing. Right. And we always we always think the grass is always greener, but it's not because you don't see the dirt like everyone else sees your dirt. So true. Our grass is just as green as the perspective that you look at it. There's another metaphor that I've heard that is very interesting. So. It, I've got a cup of wine. Right. Is it half full or half empty, Coach? Right. We hear about this all the time. The half cup. You look at your cup half full or half empty. Who's going to answer it's half empty? Now right. that we know, that means I'm a pessimist. Right. We're, like, who, no one wants to be a pessimist. Even the pessimists say that they're realists. Yeah. No one ever says they're a pessimist. I mean, right. not, not no one. There's always exceptions. But very few people say, yeah, I'm a pessimist. I look at everything with the cup half being, being half empty. No one says that until you get to know them and you start to realize, wow, this person... It's a pessimist. It's a, it's a bit of a gloomy day. Right, right. Right. So there's another alternative way to look at it. There's a fact that there's water in a cup. So you've got a cup of water. That's right. Right? So is it half full, half empty? If you, if you are a pessimist and you're not really thinking about the cup, you're going to say, oh, like anyone who says it's half full is like being optimistic. Look, it's like a little bit below the half point right, line. Okay. Like to be a realist. The point is that you have this cup of liquid. It's, there's air in it and there's liquid. There's wine on the bottom. Okay, yeah. so how do you see it? You have these challenges, and the whole thing is your picture. That's what you've been given. Right. So even, though, so even though it's air, it's still part of your challenge. It's still part of your life. There's an idea also about a cup that people hold in their issues, and people hold in what's bothering them. The idea is that if you put a cup of water and you hold it out there, you can hold it for you know, 20, 30 seconds, and nothing happens. What happens when you hold it for a minute? Your arm starts to hurt. Right. What happens when you hold it for 10 minutes? You're probably going to... Start being, getting in pain. You try holding it for an hour? That's what happens when you hold things in. Mm. It causes you pain. And that is maybe even part of your challenge is you can't let go of things. People have challenges that, they, that they're, they're, they can't let go of their anger. They can't let go of their envy. They can't, get, they can't let go of things that are bothering them. It's really, when does this really happen is in family relationships. So yeah, you're touching on a much deeper idea. Or, which we're not going to get into. No, we should because this is what real challenges are. We, we've only so far been talking about the challenges that are physical. Right. Like this job is really hard. This task is really hard. But you just touched on, on what, what, really, what it really is. And the fact is that we're not complete beings. We have challenges and they're actually within us. That's what the cup is. The cup, the cup is, our, is our whole body, our whole soul, our whole ego. And even, even though you can look at it in different ways... That's part of our life. That's the whole picture. That's the whole cup. Yeah. And that's what makes our life. You know, we had a podcast recently about your journey is your end game. And I have to tell you, those challenges are part of our journey. They are. And actually, a challenge, and if you look at the word challenge, it's like a, it, it means a, a skill building activity. Right. That you get better at. Yeah. So as you have challenges in your life, it makes you a better person. And it's something that you conquer. Think about like in a... In a hopefully. 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 And, 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 and the harder work you put in, the more likely you're going to conquer it. And sometimes it's very difficult. I'm not saying your challenges are easy because they're not. Some challenges are very, very hard. Of course, it's all based on your perspective. You know, for someone to run a marathon, they're like, I want to run a marathon. And they, it's hard running a marathon. Yeah. But what pleasure do they get once they finish? It's amazing. So, you know, that's There's, the whole idea. There is idea of one strength that we have going for us that no challenge can, can defeat us. And that is that we have a brain. We are completely, that animals don't have, animals have brains, but we are ingenuitive. We can think and we can handle a situation and we can think about that same situation in a different way. And we can continue to problem solve. That's, that's our secret right. as human beings that no challenge is too big for us to conquer. And the funny thing about challenges is that sometimes the longer you have them, that you just said, you, your brain starts to grasp the challenges better the longer you have them and you're, and you're able to handle them easier and easier as time goes on. I mean, look at people who are like, you know, in wheelchairs in their 50s. People who are blind, God forbid, people who are blind in their 50s and 60s and they're living full lives. Like, if you got to be blind in your 50s, you, I mean, I, I mean, like, I'd be a mess. I'd be like, how, what am I supposed to do? Right. You know? But so when you grew up with that challenge, you're able to adapt to it and learn as you get older. You become familiar with those challenges. Right. And you start to figure out 
the secrets to defeating those challenges right. in a way where you grow from. Right, right. Very so good. That, yeah, that's amazing. Go conquer your challenges. You that's can right. do it. They're made just for you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Brandon Fisher and this is Coach Ratner. I'll see you next time. See you next time.